nature is definitely the biggest inspiration. If you look at trees, look at water, and all the really, really beautiful things, they're beautiful because there's these underlying mathematical laws which are finding expression in these things. You know, all of the laws of nature are, are contriving towards making all this beauty. And so with the pieces, I'm trying to make laws, polyrhythmic laws, phasing laws, modal laws, structural laws, that if I can make good laws, then something interesting or beautiful should come out of it. And it's like, that's, uh, that's kind of the way I'm thinking. How is nature beautiful? Why is nature beautiful? To understand that. And I'm very interested in that. I'm very interested in the beauty of nature. And all, you know, the mathematics of it, sure, but lots of different aspects of it. The patterns of waves on the water, for example, the way they, the way they move over each other and they create an interference pattern. So you've got all well, the waves from the swan going this way, and you've got the waves from a boat going back this way. And as they cross each other, they make an interference pattern, just like two different speeds. As they cross each other, they make an interference pattern of the, of the two speeds, which is like a multi-dimensional kind of pattern. The polyrhythm particularly, one of the uh, kind of intentions or w one of its designs is that it can jumble the mind so much as to still the mind, you know? Like when, when there's, there's too much going on to be able to pick out, that your mind just sort of just steps back and just allows it. In that moment, I think one can have an experience of something different, maybe something deeper, maybe something transcendental. 